Hi, welcome to the channel, Yankees Outdoor Adventures. Today we're doing part two of the critical analysis of the Todd Standing Big Fake Footage. A special thanks to Dragon Tech for helping me with this video, and let's jump right into it. Examination of the skin and hair. Compare the skin surface of Video 4 subject with the flocking of an animal mask. The entire face surface of Video 4 subject is covered in a kind of soft fuzz, even covering the eyelids. This covering does not match anything seen on humans or any of the higher primates, but does happen to look exactly like the flocking used in toys and physical makeup effects as a proxy for short furred surface. The transition from short, flocked facial fluff to thick, woolly hair on the circumference of the face is remarkably abrupt. The edge looks like that of which is seen when flocking gives way to a glued on pelt. There is also what looks just like glue residue in places such as the periphery of the lips and chin. This is consistent with what would be seen when practical makeup effect techniques are employed. Top effects technicians are usually able to minimize or eliminate visible edges, but often they are visible in less accomplished work. Compare the hair growth pattern of the video 4 and 5 subjects. It is curious that the hairlines of the subjects in video 4 and 5 are inconsistent. Even allowing for natural variation between individuals, it would be expected that these two are members of the same species that there would be some commonality. Instead of video four subject has a thick woolly hairline beginning at the circumference of the face and most notably at the top of the forehead like a human's, whereas video five subject has more fur-like hairline that begins at the ridge of the nose and runs across the brows. It even has hair growing onto the cheeks. The direction of growth on the head runs from front to back on the Video 5 subject, but on the Video 4 subject, it appears to fall forwards to the hood of the face. Why such dispersity in texture, length, and growth pattern? Surely, a more likely explanation of this level of variation within the species is that of a difference in the construction of the two props. Is the Video 5 subject being a more sophisticated second attempt? Compare the skin surface of the Video 5 subject with those of a human's, apes, and hand blade hair work used in physical special effects. The hair of Video 5 subject appears hand laid across the cheeks and messy glue work is evident on the upper lip and top of the cheeks. Shine is visible on the hair and is also consistent with what would be expected from glue that has been smeared on top of the hair inadvertently during the gluing process. The same technique and glue residue is visible in both. Okay, let's wrap up part two right there. Be sure to subscribe for part three. We're going to be covering the nose and the nostrils as well as the mouth and lips. And if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, Check out the playlist.